All right, hello doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Now today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into hooking up an IoT box to your input devices as well as your other gear. Now you'll be IoT experts in no time. Trust me. All right, we're also going to go over hooking up the device to a keyboard, a mouse, and a display. And then we'll talk about how we can attach a device and connect it to the internet as well. All right, so enough chit chat. Let's get right into it. All right, Odoers, welcome back. Today's a little bit different. So let's jump right into this and start with our IoT box. As you can tell by my hand, it's very tiny. And also, as you can also tell by my hand, we keep a very clean ship here at Stealthywood. All right, now we're going to hook up a few interface devices and power on the unit. Now keep in mind that this unit's SD card that we have right here is flashed with the IoT image. Now to find out what that means and to learn how to flash your own Raspberry Pi and more, be sure to check out our other tutorials. Nice little shameless plug. All right, very first thing we need to plug in is our very beautiful keyboard that we have right here. Nice little clickety clackety. Goes in directly into one of our USB ports. I have a little adapter here just so that it could work perfect. All right, great. Now up next, we actually want to plug in our mouse, which we also have right here with some nice cats. You might not actually need either of these two devices. It'll just end up depend on your end setup. You may not actually need the keyboard or the mouse attached to the IoT box all the time. In our case, I need them. Now up next, I am going to plug in the micro HDMI, which goes into one of these two slots right there. So we grab that. We're gonna get a real mess of cables right here. All right, perfect. Now we have visual. Make sure the other end of this cable is plugged into a monitor. Or in, again, depending on your visual interface for this unit, you might not actually need that. Again, it just depends on your setup. You might not always want display. Now up next, we'll plug in our ethernet. So go ahead and look around for a good old fashioned ethernet cable like we have right here coming in from the corner. And we're gonna go back to the USB port side and we're gonna plug that right in. Beautiful, good job. All right, now up next after we do this, we want to plug in our device of our own choosing. Now we'll use the same USB ports we used for the mouse and the keyboards to add our, our actual gadgets. So we're gonna go back right over here and plug in, in our case, this belongs to a very beautiful foot pedal, which I'm touching with my hands. I assure you it is clean. All right, perfect. Everything is done here and everything looks perfect. So what's the last thing we need, Odoers? We need power. So over here, right next to our handy dandy micro HDMI, plug in that USB-C power adapter and you should see a light immediately come on, such as what we're seeing now. And this means we have power. Now, it is very important to always power up your device after plugging in all the equipment you'd like to use with the IoT box. And that is because these items get discovered in the booting process of the IoT box. And this is it. Now, let's jump in to see what this unit is booting up right now. And as you can see, we have a whole lot of stuff happening on the screen. Now, don't be afraid. Everything that is happening is happening for a reason. And there you have it. We can see the unit is booting up, and soon we're seeing the initial IoT pairing screen inside of a browser. From here, we can connect the IoT box to a database, and be sure to stay tuned for other tutorials on how to do this and more with the IoT box. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Go grab a snack and more stuff to plug into your IoT box.